What's going on guys today? We're going to be talking about the top 20 most expensive Lego Ninjago minifigures ever to exist. Before we get into the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated and go ahead, like this video, comment in the comment section below. Again, it'd be greatly appreciated. Now let's get into number 20. Coming in at number 20, we have the 2017 Samurai X Pixel. She's going for around $14 on the secondhand market. And overall, I think this is a greatly designed minifigure. I love the printing on the torso as well as her legs. And of course, um, we have Pixel mask underneath that helmet and overall I think it's a pretty solid minifigure especially for $14 I think it's a pretty nice pickup now let's move on to number 19 coming in at number 19 we have the 2012 purple Pythor Chumsworth he's going for about $15 on the second hand sites and overall I think this is an awesome minifigure especially for $15 I would pick him up um, I love the design of his torso as well as his um, tail and then, of course the headpiece is amazing and I think Lego did an awesome job with this minifigure now let's move on to number 18. Coming in at number 18, we have an awesome Lego snake. It is the 2012 Lego Scalador. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm sorry if I did not. He's going for around $16 on the secondhand market. And I love this minifigure. I love the orange and black design he has going. And this small little head with spikes. It's awesome. I think Lego did an amazing job. I love the Serpentine minifigures Lego did, especially the Generals. I just love them. I have every single one of them because they're just amazing figures. And overall, I love this one. Now let's move on to number 17. Coming in at number 17, we have the 2014 Pixel. Um, she's going for about $16 on the secondhand market. And overall, I think she's an okay minifigure. Um, she has no leg printing, which kind of sucks. Um, I think her torso design is pretty nice as well as her face print. But overall, I'm not the biggest fan of this minifigure. Um, I didn't really like her arc in the third season of Ninjago, but I liked her in the later seasons of Ninjago. And overall, I'm just not a fan. And now let's move on to number 16. Coming in at number 16, we have one figure I did not expect to be on this list. This is 2017 Nancy minifigure. Um, she's going for about $16 on secondhand sites. And I was just not expecting her to be on this. Um, she looks like she has braces um, on her face print. And then, of course, the torso print, she's wearing a jacket with a T-shirt underneath. Um, overall, she's just a citizen. That's what I know her as. Let me know if you guys know who she actually is. But overall, I think the minifigure is pretty cool. I would never pay $16 for this minifigure. Um, now let's move on to number 15. Coming in at number 15, we have the 2017 Maya minifigure. Um, she is the mother of Nia and Kai, and she's going for around $17 on the secondhand market. Overall, I love the design of the minifigure. I love her torso print as well as her leg print, and I think she's a, just a great character, especially for $17. I definitely think this is a nice pickup if you're looking to pick her up. Um, now let's move on to number 14. Coming in at number 14, we have the 2017 General Makia. She's going for around $17 on the secondhand market. And overall, I love this minifigure. She really reminds me of Medusa, especially with the snake hair. And overall, I think she's a great printing on her torso as well as her legs. And overall, I think it's a pretty solid minifigure, especially for $17. If you don't have this, I would definitely pick this up. Now let's move on to number 13. Coming in at number 13, we have the 2011 JDX. He's going for around $19 on the secondhand market. And overall, I think this minifigure is awesome. It's more basic um, of a design on the torso as well as the legs, but it's just a classic minifigure, especially for $19. I think it's a pretty nice pickup. Now let's move on to number 12. Coming in at number 12, we have another Pythor Chumsworth. This is the 2015 White Pythor Chumsworth. And um, he was in season four of Ninjago. He's going for around $19 on the secondhand market. And overall, I love this minifigure. Um, I think the purple one looked great. And I think the white one also looks great. Um, I love his torso design. I know you can't really see it that well. Um, of course, the head design looks great. And then, um, of course, the tail is amazing as well. I love the purple and white design they have going for him. It just looks awesome. And uh, definitely for $19, it's a pretty nice pickup. Now let's move on to number 11. Coming in at number 11, we have the 2012 Aciticus. He's going for around $20 on the second hand market. And I love this minifigure. Again, he's another Serpentine General. And I love the pattern he has um, on his body. Um, the torso looks great as well as the tail. Um, I love the Serpentine Generals. I think they did an amazing job designing them. It's especially for $20, it's a pretty nice pickup. Overall, it's a pretty solid minifigure. Now let's move on to our top 10. Coming in at number 10, we have the 2018 Sons of Garmadon Harumi. And she's going 
going for around $21 on the secondhand market. And overall, this is my favorite Harumi minifigure. I love this design. Of course, she is in her princess outfit, and I love the design on her torso as well as her legs. That cape, though, is amazing. Um, I think the cape is a great detail to add. And of course, we have her crown on her face, and it just looks amazing. I think it's a pretty solid minifigure. Now, let's move on to number nine. Coming in at number nine, we have the 2011 Samukai minifigure. He's going for around $21 on the secondhand market. And I love this minifigure. Of course, he is a pretty big skeleton um, with four arms to possess the four golden weapons. And overall, I love this minifigure. Um, he was included in season one of Ninjago. Uh, I think they did an amazing job with the design of his head. Um, the skeleton body, you know, we've seen that on other skeleton minifigures. I think for $21, it's a pretty nice pickup. Now let's move on to number eight. Coming in at number eight, we have the 2015 Possessed Lloyd, and I absolutely love this minifigure. Um, he's going for about $25 on the secondhand market. I think season five of Ninjago was one of the best Ninjago seasons ever, in my opinion. So I love this minifigure. Um, I know you can't see underneath his garbs, but the torso print is amazing as well as his leg prints. Um, I just love the design of the mask itself. I think Lego did a great job incorporating that Possessed look they were trying to go for, especially for $25. I think it's a really nice pickup, and it's still relatively cheap which is nice um, but i definitely think this is going to go up in price in the upcoming years um, but overall pretty nice minifigure and now let's move on to number seven coming in at number seven we have the 2012 Phantom. he's going for around 27 dollars on the second hand market and again he is another serpentine general um i like this minifigure um it's not my favorite minifigure but i definitely like the double heads um i think that was a cool addition for lego to do um his torso print is okay and then of course his tail is a little more basic with that um smaller print but um, overall i think it's a nice minifigure especially for 27 dollars now let's move on to number six coming in at number six we have the 2012 nrgj um he's going for around 30 dollars on the second hand market um again he's another classic minifigure i love this minifigure i think it's a nice pickup for 30 dollars i love the design of his torso as well as his legs um it's just you know it just gives you classic ninjago vibes and um for 30 dollars again you really can't beat it now let's move on to our top five coming in at number Number five, we have the 2016 Pythor P. Chumsworth. This is the third Pythor on this list, and he's going for around $31 on the secondhand market. Um, this is not my favorite Pythor P. Chumsworth. I think the design is a little more basic, especially with that white cloak covering his purple and white scales. But overall, I think it's a pretty nice pickup for $31. I would never spend $31 on this minifigure. I would go out and buy the other two Pythors we saw earlier in this list. But overall, it's pretty nice. And now let's move on to number four. Coming in at number four, we have the old time twin i can't remember if his name is crux or chronic so please tell me in the comment section below but anyway he came out in 2017 and he's going for around 36 dollars on the second hand market overall i think this minifigure has great printing on the torso as well as the legs and i really like the design of his face um, around his eyes i know you can't see underneath the face but i just think the eyes it just makes him look a little bit older than his other brother which is super cool and then of course we have the gray arm as well as the red arm it's just a super cool minifigure it's a nice pickup for 30 $36 and overall pretty solid. Now let's move on to number three. Coming in at number three, we have the 2017 Young Time Twin. And overall, I love this minifigure as well. As you guys can see from his eye printing, he does look a little bit younger than his older brother. And I really like the design of his torso. Um, they do include a print for his phone as well as earbuds, which are super cool. And then I love the print on the legs as well. And this time, um, the gray arm and the red arm are swapped. And then the cloth piece is just moved to the other side. So I think that was pretty cool how Lego did that. And overall, I think it's a pretty nice pickup for $36. Now Let's move on to number two. Coming in at number two, we have one of my favorite Ninjago minifigures of all time. It's the 2014 Golden Master Overlord, and he's going for around $40 on the secondhand market. And I absolutely love this minifigure. I really think LEGO did a nice job including all those details on his torso as well as his legs. I just think it's super cool. Um, of course, there have been updated versions of the Overlord uh, multiple times now, but this is definitely my favorite. Um, let me know what you guys think about this minifigure down in the comment section below. And overall, I think it's a pretty nice pickup for $40. I know it's a little more expensive than some of the other figures we've looked at. Now let's move on to number one. Coming in at number one, we have the 2019 Akita minifigure. She's going for around $42 on the secondhand market. And honestly, this kind of surprises me because she is only three years old. But overall, I love the design of this minifigure. I think the printing of her torso as well as her legs are really cool. And then of course, that cape um, is amazing. I love the dual colors of the cape. And then overall, I really like that wolf kind of 
mask she has going um, for her hair. I think that's super cool. And then we do get two different expressions for her, which is awesome. And overall, I think this is a really cool minifigure. Again, this does really surprise me that she's number one, but that's awesome how she's going for $42. So when you add the value of all these minifigures up, you're going to get a grand total of $478. And that's awesome to think about that 20 Lego minifigures could go for about $500. That is crazy to think about. And it's just awesome to see the Lego Ninjago community growing over time. And it's really becoming a staple in Lego's history. So what did you guys think about the top 20 most valuable Lego Ninjago minifigures? Did any of them surprise you or not really? Go ahead, let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Um, Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, really help the channel out. And it'd be greatly appreciated. Go ahead, like this video, comment in the comment section below. Again, it'd be greatly appreciated. And thanks for tuning in today, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.